Hey guys. So yeah, <laughs> um, I think that if you look at the title of this video, you're going to see the answer right away, but let's discuss this a little bit. Just in case you're not familiar with it, I tried using the concealer baking method to do my concealer today. And if you're familiar with my channel, then you know that I have deep, deep indentations rather than dark circles. So I was just curious to see how the concealer baking method would work on me personally because, like I said, I don't really have dark circles so much as I do like indentations in my face. So just in case you're not familiar with the concealer baking method, the idea behind this is that it's supposed to be like the be-all end-all way of applying your concealer to cover dark circles. So I figured I would give it a shot. This, you know, a lot of people have done videos about this on YouTube and, you know, they actually demonstrate the method that they use, show you the products. I didn't really want to go out and buy anything special, so I used the products that I had because I already had something in each category, so I figured I would give it a shot. You start with applying a eye cream on the dark circles. Then you take a thick concealer and you uh, dab some on with your ring finger and then blend it with a beauty blender sponge. I use the Wet n Wild Come Correct Celebrity Concealer in the shade Fair. And by the way, while we're on the subject of beauty blenders, um, when I was talking about having a latex allergy in a video recently, that got me thinking, I wonder if the Beauty Blender is late, has latex in it. It doesn't. Now, there's a lot of generic Beauty Blenders out there, and I can't really speak to those, but the original Beauty Blender sponge does not have latex in it. So, just in case you were curious about that, um, I kind of knew that already because I've never had a reaction to using this. But anyways, I digress. <laughs> um, so... You blend this in, or you apply this with your ring finger, a thick concealer, and then blend it with the Beauty Blender sponge. Then you take a thin layer of a thin concealer. I use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And you just apply a little bit of this with the applicator or your ring finger, and then you blend that out. That's a lot of product. Then you take a translucent, setting powder type powder. Uh, they had recommended a different one. Like I said, I didn't want to go out and buy anything uh, special. So I used MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Loose Powder. Now this is quite a different type of powder than the one that I saw in the video that I watched. And you know, there's, there's a ton of videos out there about this subject. But the one that she used was um, more of a flesh toned powder and it also seemed to be a thicker consistency. Now I don't know if that's what went wrong with this because uh, I'm not really that happy with the results of it but I don't think so. I don't think that's what the problem is but I think what I might do is just buy like an inexpensive powder, an inexpensive translucent or transparent setting powder that's more like the one she used in the video rather than because this is a very white finely milled powder so and I don't even think the ingredients are the same so just uh, you know out of curiosity I'm gonna pick up a powder more similar to what she used so what well, anyway what you do is you take a brush uh, like this that's kind of small and has like a dome shape to it but not like an eye brush, something that's in between an eye and a face brush. I just happen to have the exact brush that she used in the video, um, the Inglot 4SS brush. My friend June had given this to me a while back. And um, so you just take some of the loose powder and you dab way too much over the whole area and you let it bake for five to ten minutes. And then after that amount of time has gone by, you brush the excess away and 
supposedly, you know, you're left with this amazing transformation. Now, what happened with me was um, I feel like the concealer that I used has got too much of a yellow cast to it for my skin tone. So that might have been part of the problem. <laughs> um, I feel like the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer was fine, though. That didn't make the area yellow. And like I said, the powder is too white, too finely milled. So I'm going to try a different thick concealer because I, I have tons of concealers. Um, so I think I have one other concealer that's thick, thick like this. And I'm going to pick up uh, an expensive powder that's more like the one she used in the video. Now, what's interesting about this is when you look at my face like this, it looks too yellow and too crazy in that area. But watch what happens when I get closer to you. See, so when you get up close, it, it actually looks better, I think, which is strange and doesn't really make any sense. But when I come back further and tilt my head down, then you can see those indentations very clearly. But, uh, yeah, up closer, it looks pretty good. Now, my question to you is, anybody who has been successful with this concealer baking method, especially if you are somebody older like me. I'm 55 years old. My biggest concern is even if I do find the right products, that's a lot of product and a lot of powder going on underneath my eyes. And as you get older, would that contribute to fine lines and wrinkles if you were putting a ton of powder underneath your eyes every single day? That seems kind of risky to me. Um, so I, I've got close to 5,000 subscribers. So hopefully someone is watching that has done this method. And, you know, if you were happy with it and it worked out for you and you started doing it every day, did it give you more lines and wrinkles underneath your eyes? Let me know in the comment section. This is, um, you know, it's kind of an important issue. So I do, I'm really curious though. Um, I do want to try this again, maybe with different products and see what my results are because it seems like it would have the potential to work. Um, but yeah, I need a, con a thick concealer that's not so yellow and I need a, a different powder because this, this white finely milled powder is nothing like the one she used. She used the Laura Mercier powder, but I'm not willing to spend that kind of money on something that may not even work. So I'm going to look for a powder that is similar in texture and color and um, get, you know, just get a more inexpensive version of that. But yeah, what has been your experience, you guys, with this whole baking concealer method thing? Uh, let me know in the comments section. And um, that's it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.